Hi, this is Lindworth playing games while rambling incoherently into a microphone. Why? Well, just because they can. And they continue with Harvester Blind. Uh, last time, the Lodge has killed Stephanie, and that was supposed to be my invitation, so let's talk to the guy. Uh, well, he said that already. I thought that was the in initiation. This was only a trial to determine your worthiness for testing. Your initiation into the mysteries of the harvest will soon begin. In the meantime, be patient. Protocols must be observed before initiation may commence. How I recognize the sign? You will know. When you receive the invitation, bring it here, and your initiation shall begin. But I literally did bring the, the invitation, unless I was supposed to receive it as an actual item, and I didn't pick it up. Uh, which is possible, like I thought the sheriff uh, literally gave it to me, like straight into my head. Yes, I can forget about the meat, huh? What do you... Your dad must have pulled some strings. What the hell are you talking about? You'll see once the sheriff gets here. Wait, what are you talking about? Okay, you can come in now, son. This has all already happened. What, what are you talking about? Uh, uh, examine the... It is strange, it, it literally repeated. Examine the large invitation. Uh, yeah, yeah, so I did uh, pick it up now, but only now. Be it known that the sacred order of the Harvest Moon hereby extends notice of eligibility of, the, of Steve Mason for in initiation into the sacred mysteries of Harvest. Let him be presented with all possible haste. Uh, to the sergeant of sergeant of arms for commencing of the rites. Yeah, so let's go back to him. I don't understand what has happened really with the repeating of the whole cutscene, but the most important thing is I have the invitation. You received the invitation. But you have not brought it. I don't understand. The invitation was not the card, but the spinal cord. It must be presented to me ere I allow you to enter. Mm, you sick bastard, what have you done with Stephanie aside from killing her? The mysteries are only disclosed of the order, not initiates. You were provided an invitation. Bring me the skull and spinal cord if you would pass to the world beyond. Okay. no longer here. Well, was it buried maybe already? I'll check the cemetery. Hmm. So maybe the... Uh, Maybe the chapel? Maybe it's, it's laid out for a funeral. Nope, it's still the guy. Hmm. 
Hmm. So where would it be then? Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's a Potsdam family crypt at the cemetery. I just I just remembered that. And I have not been there at all during the game. So uh presumably that's where she is. Yeah. Mm. The marble doors have been sealed shut. Potsdam family crypt. I have if I have an axe. So well, that didn't work. Hmm. Why not? And doors have been sealed shut, but... Well, that didn't work. Hmm, Potsdam family crypt. Uh, this the leaning sycamore is dead rotten. Unstable for climbing or stringing nooses. So, maybe that is supposed to be a clue that I need to climb onto the roof. And indeed it was. A dim light shines through up the... Uh, shines up through a glass skylight. Okay, I should be able to break that with the hammer. Okay, I wasn't expecting an enemy. Uh, some kind of weird mutated dog. A nauseous smell wafts up from within the unsealed sarcophagus. A skull and a spinal cord. Okay. Uh, to be honest, the combat seems like an afterthought to me. Like, why would they even include that? It, it's pretty clunky. Uh, and overall, I, I, I'm not sure whether that's really necessary, but oh well. Uh, let's bring the spinal cord to the guy. What is this? You must now enter the lodge. Initiates find it a hostile place. Are you supposed to help me or get me killed? I'm starting you on the path of initiation to a very special, very exclusive brotherhood. I am merely the administrator of a test. Whether you view me as an enemy or a friend depends on how well you're prepared to pass. And this thing? You haven't said what it is. It is a special weapon. Using it will be part of the initiation. Well, to hell with your initiation. I just want to find out about Stephanie.
Just tell me, is Stephanie dead or being held within? The membership director on the second level keeps track of such things. Oh, great. Then you are against me. I am the sergeant at arms. I am here to ensure that the protocols are observed. Deviation from a protocol shall result in punishment. Remember what I have told you. Now, let the initiation begin. Okay, I still don't understand what this is about. It's very weird. I guess let me equip this This is a bust of this bust of Beethoven glares down at you in silent rebuke This bust of Thomas Jefferson glares down at you in silent rebuke uh, Benjamin Franklin George Washington Barbara Bush Okay um, Midget display light. Ah, oh, you're here. Excellent. You'll find them through that door. Excuse me? You are the exterminator, are you not? No. In that case, I'm afraid you'll have a hard time of it, sir. Recently, the lodge has become infested by pests. They need exterminating or... To be blunt, sir, they need killing and plenty. What kind of pests are we talking about? We're not speaking of cockroaches. A bewildering variety of deadly beasts fly beyond, and just before the annual board meeting. Dreadful. I wish you good luck, sir. I only hope you can stomach what's ahead. Well, we'll see about that, but where exactly should I go? That, that's where I came from. So... Hmm, it looks as if I've fallen through the bowels of something alive. Bluish veins line the mucus slick walls. Abscess-like opening pit... Uh, Openings pit the fleshy wall. The surface under food is underfoot is oddly spongy and fluid oozes up and around your shoes where you step. Mm, yeah, it, is, it it does look like like the uh, entrails of something. Bile cover bile covered the lining envelops the room. A noxious pool of acid covered by a nutrient film. Okay, I'm not even trying to guess what that is, although that might be aliens. Like, aliens have been mentioned specifically in this game. Mm, a shell lodged deep within the porous wall. It looks like a cocoon of some sorts. You glimpse bones at the bottom of this stagnant pool. And you thought the walls had ears. It's a big blue eye looking right at you. Okay, so it's clear I have to interact with them somehow to proceed. Because um, I don't think I can do anything else, so... 
you know. Maybe I can hit them. Oh, I can. I can, and it has opened a passage. Upon leaving the strange rooms behind, you notice a burning feeling on your skin. You also notice a gooey film of slime that covers your clothes. Mm. Okay, so I've been covered in like stomach acid or whatever. Uh, a cracked vase. A real plant as opposed to all of the plastic ones. Uh, a totemistic figurine, mysterious and impressive, clearly made in China, since it since it says so at the bottom. Mm, over a dozen books of animal husbandry, bound in leather and authored by various uh, leading Third Reich scientists. Okay, it's a stockyard mutated um, mutated in a stockyard mutated cattle. Queue up complacently for slaughter. A pair of mutated horses pulling a cart filled with rhubarb. Four, eight, four eyes of this mutated cow blink disinterestedly, glistening in the firelight. Disturbingly, as you step over this rug, you spy a brand mark seared into the fur. Blazing fire, ornately carved marble mantle. Uh, the candle on this table is still warm. A brass duck sticking over the edge of a shelf. Hmm. Okay, let's check the other room. A hat box, empty but for the dead cockroach, decaying in the corner. This dead plant has recently been watered. Mm. Uh, the doffed trappings of revelry, this toga whispers of good times past. Cloakroom, cloakroom attendant warns you not to touch anything. Uh, these waiting room chairs appear to, be, to have been lifted from a dentist's office. This is a cloakroom, sir. By definition, not a fitting place to seek answers. However, it's plain that the acid from your ordeal is eating away at your clothing and skin. I can clean your clothes for a minor consideration of five dollars. You feel the pain from the acid that's eating through your clothes. Uh, hmm. Okay, but I don't have any cash. And there's another door here. Maybe I'll find some. <laughs> Uh, they must have disagreed with something that ate them. Uh, okay, I have to pause for a second. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, so let's continue. Uh, there's another corpse right here. They must have disagreed with something that ate them. Again. Uh, any money? And the walls of this room contain scenes of horror and death. Mm. The mountains which barred your escape from harvest are visible through, th through thick glass. Mm. Okay, I can go to the sides as well, I think. Uh, indeed. All the furniture in this bar seems to be as badly taken care of as the bar itself. A bar stock, stocked only with domestic beer. Uh, extra strong beer. You take this something. Uh, cash register is locked. Uh, okay, that's like a copy of me with a scythe. that help me? Uh, there there might, might be some 
the, there might be some money in the cash register, but it's locked. I would have to find the key first. You feel pain from the acid that's eating through your clothes. The plant is blocking your way. This once beautiful fountain needs a gardener. The weeds have taken over. Uh, it looks more more alien than the than plant like. Mm, yeah, yeah, but what's worth the key? Have a drink. We take the beer and drink it. Hmm. Uh, it's a player piano with an inscription uh, Chicago, Chicago on it. Hmm. Okay, I don't really know what's going on. Do I have any keys? Oh, I do have a bar key. Okay. Mm, a five dollar bill. Okay, that's just enough to clean my clothes. So let's do that before the acid kills me. Because I presume it eventually will. Uh, the game is, is warning me about it periodically. Uh, so... Taking your money, the cloakroom attendant cleans the acid off of your clothes. Okay. This door seems to be locked. Well, let's continue this way. Because I think I can go the other way as well. So let's explore that. Um... This freshly removed hand still twitches reflexively, grasping for salvation. Well, I hope you're proud of yourself, killing my clientele. Ever since the monsters invaded this level, the members have taken to dining with the Grand Pooba upstairs. Actually, I have to admit, my last few meals haven't been up to snow. The problem is the freshness of the corpses, or lack thereof. See, the supply has dried up. The sergeant at arms always used to insist that bodies killed in the lodge be disposed of without trace. And so the members would bring me their business for preparation and dissemination. Hmm. What's behind all this killing? Oh dear. You're not a member, are you? You're an initiate. Forgive me, I can't say another word about it. Can you tell me anything that might help me? Not really. Okay. Well, I hope you're proud of yourself. Ever since the monsters invaded this... Actually, I have to admit, my last few meals haven't been up to snow. The sergeant-at-arms always used to insist that by... Tell me, do you know about a girl named Stephanie? Sorry. You'd need to talk to the membership director up on two. Can you tell me anything that might help me? Not really. Hmm, okay. Uh... This must mustard bottle is filled with bile. This bottle is filled with a vis vis viscous red liquid, which clearly is not anything as wholesome as ketchup. Uh, seems to be a sturdy stainless steel counter. Ham and, ham and cheese on rye, I can only hope. A watched severed head never boils. A freezer whose gruesome contents are mercifully locked away from the side. Uh, this shattered mirror hints that someone didn't like what he saw. This filthy sink is littered with dead babies. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Although maybe I should at this point. A cut of meat that no ordinary butcher would have a name for. Oh, I can pick it up. And this as well, this seems to be a torso. 
something infected met its demise here. Hmm. Okay, how how's my health? Uh, not great. Uh, will eating a sandwich help? Uh, yes, it will. Although God only knows what the sandwich actually contained. Uh, a payphone, inoperative and splattered with flecks of grey matter. Mm, okay, I don't really know where to go, but... Uh, this dust-covered mirror reflects a darker image of yourself. Yeah, which I have fought and killed. Uh, okay. Hmm, that's actually a problem. That's a, that's a big problem because... Damn it, I have not saved in a really long time. So, uh, I'm going to probably skip all of this. Or like speed it up. I apologize for the inconvenience. Okay, so we've already established that the plant is going to kill me if I step too close. So what do I do then? Like there is a door in the cloakroom I guess. But I'm pretty sure to access it I would have to kill the guy which you feel the pain from the acid that is eating through your clothes. Yeah, yeah, and I wanted to pay this guy. Taking your money, the cloakroom attendant cleans the acid off of your clothes. Okay, he, he won't talk to me though. What if I pay him another five bucks? Uh, okay, I can't. I can't do it. This door seems to be locked. Empty cloth hangers. Hmm. A peg to hang clothes on. Oh, I can. Cloakroom attendant warns you not to touch anything. Hmm. Do I have to kill him? Like at this at this point, it hardly matters. I am already at. Well, technically I am not a murderer, uh, in the strictest sense. I, I have not killed anyone, sort of, directly. Uh, but you know, I would say I, I'm still very much guilty. So, uh, you know, the, the rest is a, is a philosophical and legal distinction, rather than any actual one that matters to my conscience. Uh, but I can't get through this, so, hmm. The, 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 there's something with the peg, but as I said, to operate this, it seems to me 
I would need to actually kill the guy. Uh, which... Uh, mm, which, you know, I, I feel a bit uneasy about. Mm. They can't really talk to him anymore. And if I try to pay him again, uh, nothing is actually happening. Uh, some kind of electric switch. This is your last warning. Do not touch anything. I, I, I think unfortunately we have to duke it out like I don't I don't see any other way of progressing oh okay okay <laughs> okay he had a clear advantage uh Clear, clear range advantage. Mm. Can I even approach him? I can. I can, and I guess I could hit him. Like, unfortunately, it seems to me I have to. I, I don't see any other way to progress. Uh, so. Hmm. Yeah, unfortunately, I, I think I need to do it. So I'm sorry, g guy. You're my first direct human victim. I, I guess that's my first literal murder. You acquire a shotgun. Hmm. But they said I'm supposed to use the harvest blade. Uh, now. I can move it to this peg? Well, that, well, that didn't work. Well, that didn't work. Wait, what? Hmm, what? What's that about? Okay, some kind of a secret panel. can't do anything with it though. Uh, there is also this switch. Uh, okay, this one opened this door. Hmm, the alien killed me. But it, it's pretty evident to me I had to kill him to progress. Uh, so that's definitely kind of sad, but you know, it is what it is. I'm not sure what's up with the pegs, though. Oh, man. Well, that didn't work. Hmm. Okay. Well, that didn't work. Well, that didn't work. Well, that didn't work. Hmm. Okay. Now it opened. So it needs to be constantly um, uh, under under weight to be opened L like rare gems these shotgun shells have been secreted in this hidden room by someone who knew their value claw marks rake the length of this pipe floor to ceiling mm, this see this scythe gleams harshly beneath the bare bulb Okay, I wonder if it matters which weapon do I use. Obviously, the shotgun would pr 
probably be the easiest because it's a ranged weapon. Uh, I am going to eat the sandwich. Uh, mm, okay, so I have a couple of shells. Uh, but I feel like this episode has been long enough, so I'm going to save it mm, and end it for now. That's all for this one, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.